All right, three weeks later, let's see the new season. Really, Toei? Really? Same opening, different arc, same opening. Come on! If I see Queen Barrel, I swear. on the table. Look who it is! Look who it is! It's Diamond! It's Prince Diamond! Aren't you excited? Okay, come on. Any of you wondering about my shirt? Yes! I am the fucking moon princess. I'm sexy and I know it. Okay, I can do this. He's probably only in the opening. Maybe they'll save him for- Prince Demato. This is too much! bringing sexy back just just for this you're gonna be in the top 32 sexy men and women of anime next year Jedi didn't make it into the top eight so uh, diamond you're in <laughs> I think I had him years ago but that was before the top eight rule and shut up I'm putting him in there <laughs> Just look at that. Oh my god, it's so much better than the artwork. Ah, so much better than the artwork that we that we got for the preview. Hi, Diamond. And so far, they all sound really great. I didn't... I don't think I heard Emerald, but you heard Diamond, Sapphire, and Rubius. And my fear was put aside for Sapphire, because I thought Tsubasa would have kept that high pitch that he did for... Uh, uh, Nagi said, but he also did Izumi from Love Stage. So yeah, he's known for high-pitched, hyperactive characters and blondes. But here, he toned it down. And I'm like, yes, that was a sexy sapphire. Arigatou Every one of them just sounded so great. And then the sisters. The sisters are here. I'm like, there you are. Come on, birdie. Pets. The one I could never remember, but I remember you four. Oh my goodness. And one person was asking if we're gonna get like that standoff between Sailor Scout and Sailor Scout. I don't think that's gonna happen because I need to collect the rest of the manga, but last time I checked, that standoff never happened in the manga. It was awesome in the original show, but it didn't happen in the uh in the manga. And something happened in this episode that all of you were demanding. Character development. We get to know a little bit more about Rei and a little bit more about Makoto. Because Makoto introduces one of her friends and how like she kind of looks, you know, she kind of looks after him like a little brother and how this guy admires uh, Mamoru Uchiba. So we're getting a little bit more character development behind Mamoru, um, Makoto, and Rei. Especially Rei. This was Sailor Mars' episode. And I thought the cutest moment, you got to see... Uh, you got to see her irk, her pet peeve in this episode. And it was so cute because she's being invited to do this uh, fortune telling thing for the school festival. And she's not really part of the club, but they asked her, hey, you're really good at fortune telling, can you help us out? And she's like, yeah, sure, why not? And when she's looking around all their books, she sees a book about UFOs, and she's just like, ugh. Just look at that face, that is so cute. She tries so hard to be a refined young lady, but when she sees something that irks her, she's just like, oh god, oh god, this, no, no. <laughs> she just like turns the corner, she's like, oh god. Oh! <laughs> That's just so cute! Ray, you're adorable! You are so adorable! I'm looking forward to each of the episodes with the Sailor Scouts to know a little bit more about them, their pet peeves, their personalities. You get to see that more in this season. Like, the first season was all about Endemion and Serenity, but here it's 
it's gonna be about on Demi and Serenity with Chibiusa, but you're gonna see a little more character development with the girls as one by one they get kidnapped. And that scene at the come of where Mars is on fire. She's not burning, but she's on fire. I'm guessing her strength is protecting her. And Ruby is like taunting, and all of a sudden. Damn it, Diamond! Focus. Focus. That's better. I was actually watching this episode on my phone because I was going to watch it on my TV, but I had some running around to do, so I, I had it on my phone. And as my mom was getting ready to, you know, go out with me, uh, all of a sudden, Diamond comes on the phone, and I jump out of the couch into her arms. And she's just like, what the hell? Child, what are you doing? You stop, get off of Clarabelle. You're squishing the cat. And I was just like, oh, I'm okay, Mom. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Diamond. Prince Diamond. What makes you think I'm excited? It's gonna be a crazy next couple of episodes. I don't know how I'm gonna react when a certain kiss scene is gonna happen. Cause in the anime, it didn't really happen. Cause, you know, back in those days, our main heroines had to be pure for their men. But in the manga... I just hope that the popularity doesn't sink any further in Japan because... I want Sailor Moon S! I want it. I want to see Saturn. I want to see Uranus and Neptune not being bitches. I want to see Super S. I want to see the real story. How Mamoru's not as useless as you think he is. In Stars, I want Sailor Scout versus Sailor Scout all out epic glorious battle with a wedding and sex. Cause that's the Sailor Moon manga, baby. Go, go read the manga. So what'd you guys think of this week's episode that took three weeks? Hmm. Diamond. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> so thanks for watching this random vlog. This is what Prince Diamond does to me. You should see me around my husband. I'm cuter. <laughs> His reaction to his to my t-shirt was like, okay. So you're a fucking moon princess? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm a fucking moon princess! I'm sexy and I know it. I love my husband. You think I love Diamond? I love my husband more. <laughs> you should see me around him. <laughs> so coming up soon will be another video from Shanna. I'm not sure if she's doing more of her Let's Play or... I think she was trying hard to finish up her Zonkyo no Terror review, so stay tuned to that. And on February 14th, we will be releasing our top 10 most romantic couples of anime. And I will warn you that the honorable mentions list is extremely long because it felt like we couldn't leave certain couples behind. We're like, damn it, we need to mention this couple or our fans will kill us. But there are some couples that we have standards on and we didn't mention them for certain reasons, so get ready for us to open a can of bees. Speaking of bees, the bloopers behind that video. It took us, I think the video ended up being like 25 minutes. It took us over an hour to record. So it's like 25 minutes of this video and I think 26 minutes of bloopers. But I think Ellie's gonna simmer all those down. It's, yeah, yeah, we get off topic a lot, but you all know that. And I also saw Brad at uh, Bikuri Sushi, and we're discussing some episodes to do in the future with Brad, so if you guys are looking forward to seeing Brad again, he's uh, slowly making his way back at the Anime America podcast, and we're happy to welcome Brad Kingston back. He's actually doing another production on the side with another friend, but he is interested in opening up the Anime America podcast once again, the uh, audio for iTunes, so it's a possibility. Let me, go, let me know what you guys think about an Anime America podcast. As it was to begin with. So thank you guys so much for watching this crazy video. Stay tuned to more videos and stay tuned Anime America. I'm a fucking moon princess! Thank you Christina for getting me this shirt. Love you!
For more updates on Anime America, just go to our Facebook page and like us. For more awesome videos dealing with everything in pop culture, just click on one of these videos here and subscribe to Pop Spectrum. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to Anime America. No one thing I want to ask Tuxedo Mask. Why, why aren't you throwing roses, man? That that attack came right at Sailor Moon and you just hit it with a stick. I miss his roses. Because there's a certain style of Whippa, rose. I miss it.